were living in critical times. But time was when time, outside Greenwich Observatory, was very elastic, especially closing time. But today there's no excuse for not knowing the right time. You just dial T-I-M, Tim. And whose is the golden voice that tells you the time so nicely? For the first time, we show you. If you want to know the time, there's no need now to ask a policeman. Just give me a ring sometime. Four glass discs with circular soundtracks are the basis of the post office clock. One speaks the introduction, another the hours, a third the even minutes, and the fourth the odd minutes and pips. The discs are operated by camshafts. The seconds cam is divided into tens, the minutes cam into sixty, and the hours into twelve divisions. And to ensure that the sounds are transmitted in proper sequence, relays like this are used. A timing distributor, as it's called, keeps the actual transmission properly timed. The time itself is checked with Greenwich every hour and indicated on a correction panel by means of a battery of lamps. Any difference, even to within a tenth of a second, is automatically corrected. The sound is reproduced from the discs by focusing a light through the soundtrack onto a photoelectric cell, in much the same way as the sounds you are hearing now are reproduced. In the clock room, amplifiers increase the volume sufficiently for you to hear it on the telephone. Time discs move on as surely as the time they tell. Theirs is the job of a restless automaton. But the golden voice doesn't only attract those who want to know the time. Cool, you listen. At the first stroke, it will be 10, 9, and 30 seconds. Now, Dad, you can understand why last quarter's bill was so heavy. Thank you very much. Don't mention it. 